if there is an opportunity for uh, the release of hostages in exchange of Palestinian prisoners who have spent many years in Israeli prison and for a ceasefire to be arrived at because, you know, uh, release of hostages means that there should be a ceasefire. And if there is a ceasefire, <coughs> it means that, you know, uh, the entry of uh, humanitarian aid uh, will, uh, will be possible, not only to the south, but also to the north. So uh, we are keen to see that happening. And uh, we hope it will be as soon as possible, before the month of Ramadan, in order for people to um, pick up themselves, to breathe uh, uh, freely, without uh, bombing and killing and shooting in Gaza and uh, to, to see what can we do, how to transform this uh, humanitarian ceasefire into a permanent one and uh, for, uh, for us to be able to uh, start thinking how to reconstruct, you know, <clears throat> Gaza after such devastation and destruction. If Israel does not uh, you know, respect such provisional measures, it's Israel who will uh, pay the price for that. Because, you know, uh, it is binding to, to everyone. And we have heard that, you know, Israel has submitted uh, their report on the 26th of, uh, of uh, this month, as it was required from it by the ICJ. Maybe the report itself uh, is very false, uh, where Israel will uh, say that they are abiding by and abiding by the provisional measures, but in reality they are not. But uh, obviously uh, South Africa will look into that report and they will respond back to the court. So uh, uh, <clears throat> we are watching that and the, the court is not going to tolerate or to accept that Israel does not abide by its own uh, provisional measures. That's for sure. Netanyahu's objective of this war is to make Gaza uninhabitable. And that's why he has been destroying everything in Gaza. So it's obvious that the undeclared objective of Netanyahu's war is to make Gaza unlivable, uninhabitable. And, you know, in order to do that, he will. Uh, he started uh, forcibly displacing Palestinians from the north into the center and from the center into the south. And that's why today he's not allowing people to go back to the north. He cannot force people completely out of Gaza. Then at least he will prevent them from going back to the north. In the, turning the north into a buffer zone for Israeli security.